You're right. We're united during this month. We can't let the white man we get are united. <laughs> Even though Nothing's Josh did nothing. Between us, baby Josh boy. Did nothing <laughs> bad at all. I have no stake in this. <laughs> What is up, Wikimaniacs? Oh. It's your boy, Josh. <laughs> and if God you can't tell, I'm me. sick as fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, demonetized. So I'll blank that out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very sick. Uh, and so I got John and Sean here. And Sean's oh, oh. going to take over hosting the Am I the Asshole episode today for very obvious reasons. So he's got my script. Uh, he still doesn't know what the stories. No, entail. That's I'm very shocked. Yeah. So uh, he's just got the stories. He's going to read them and react just as he normally would. Uh, yeah. But yeah, take it away, Sean. Yeah. What's up, Wikimaniacs? I will say right off the bat, I'm looking at Josh's script and I'm like, wow, should I do, you know, I don't do scripts, but should I lay out my stories like this? Like I, I you be, should. I'd be we clicking all, links. We both lay out our stories. <laughs> Sean, you're the I, only one. Well, fuck, y'all didn't tell me how y'all do y'alls. Yeah, I've never seen John. You think I'm just going to hop into y'all story links? And, you know, <laughs> I have no reason to do that. Fair well, enough. I have mine in my own drive, so you guys can't see it. Oh, I thought you had a little tab on our on the spreadsheet. Oh, just the links for Josh's purposes, but he doesn't check till later. Oh, yeah. right, because you write a whole <laughs> script. Yeah, I don't write a whole script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, <laughs> let's read the script, boys. My specialty. What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome to Reddit on Wiki, where we scour Reddit in search of some of the wildest stories the internet has to offer. My name is Josh Shell. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. You sound Back better. at it again are my co-hosts. I mean, it's AAPI month, bro. It's only right that we take over this show. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I shouldn't even be allowed here for another month. Yeah, you're not allowed. Do. Get out of this place. <laughs> All right. Uh, on today's episode, we have a sister-in-law arrested on her wedding day. Ooh, I was excited to read this when I was perusing <laughs> our subreddit. Stop looking at my titles. <laughs> <laughs> a mother refuses to drop her daughter off with her ex. Ooh. Mm. An OP puts meat in a tofu dish. Oh, asshole. No, oh, absolutely dear. not good. Yeah. A nice guy is, air quotes, honest about his friend's girlfriend. Asshole. <laughs> Just preemptive right off the bat, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really title that one uh, neutral. <laughs> <laughs> right when you say nice guy, automatic asshole. Yeah, My that's bad. true. <laughs> Which is a shame because a nice guy just used to mean, used to just mean like a nice, nice guy. Nice guy. Yeah. 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 Used to. Sucks, Damn, you read it. About that. I used to, you know, <laughs> like being a nice guy until you guys told me what a nice guy a nice is. Guy actually yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Next up after that, we have a grandmother that isn't invited to her granddaughter's birthday. She's probably racist. Probably. <laughs> or homophobe. <laughs> or all the or hateful all things the in above. between the spectrum, yes. <laughs> and... Last but not least, unless you're rich, uh, a girlfriend that doesn't go to a funeral with her boyfriend. There could be various reasons why you don't go. Yeah, to that's kind of. I'm gonna hold my. I'm gonna hold my judgment on that one. Wow. But if you are rich and you are a patron, thank you. Uh, but for the Patreon exclusive stories, we have a stepson who doesn't share his snacks. Asshole. <sighs> Asshole. Gasp. Unless he's like a diabetic. You know what I mean? And then <laughs> you got to have your snacks. You know what I mean? You can't share those. I still give me some of them fucking snacks. Oh, ah, diabetic nah, nah. snacks. He might so. die. He needs the sugar. <laughs> or it doesn't need sugar. Doesn't need I the sugar. I don't know how diabetes works, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. I don't fucking know either. All right. And a dildo causes issues between roommates. Yeah, I chose that one because I knew Sean was reading it. Fantastic. This reminds me of, I don't know if any of you guys watched the trash TV that is Bachelor in Paradise? Bachelors? Ah, uh, no, I don't. No. Yeah. One trash TV I don't watch. Liar, you fucking famously love 90 Day Fiance. I said the <laughs> one that I don't watch. Oh, that's the one you don't watch. Yeah, he watches yeah. Liar's like, you don't ones. watch trash TV. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> this man loves trash TV. I love trash TV, yeah. man. Come on. 
Uh, it reminds me of a, there's an episode on there where for whatever reason, the producers probably for drama and fake reasons, like left a suitcase there that wasn't like a girl that was on the Island yet. And all the other girls like fucking broke into the luggage and like, they were like, Oh my God, that's a dildo. Oh. And then one of the, one of the contestants like takes it and then goes to like the private room where there are no cameras mm. and everybody's like, ew. Oh my absolutely God. Absolutely ew. Disgusting. Using a, someone else's dildo. Yes. Yeah, I don't know where that thing came. Well, you know where I mean, it's been and you're still <laughs> deciding to. You yeah. know where the fuck it's been. <laughs> All right. Let's get into it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got to stick to the script, Sean. <laughs> if you want to yeah, hear Sean. those two stories and get ad-free episodes, head over onto patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network and sign up today. Also, you know, really make sure you read those tiers very properly. We've had a few patrons uh, join a tier and then they were like, how come we don't get this or that? Uh, make sure you read those details. They are important. Yeah, the smut is $20 only. That's right. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely we'll correct. A new layer, huh? Okay. Yeah, we'll need a new tier. <laughs> All right, we're going with our first story cross-posted by the GOAT. Mid-score, mid-score, mid-score. Go. Nah. Am nah. I the asshole for getting my sister-in-law arrested on her wedding day? <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> on her Hold wedding up. There's, day. There, there's got to be a reason. As a host, I don't do predictions. We're doing predict Josh's. Rolls right off the tongue. Predict Josh's. Well, I can't wow. predict. I know what happens. <laughs> oh, that's true. Wait, you, don't know what, you don't know what happens. You don't know what happens, Sean. I know, but it feels weird to be the host and do predict Sean's. Well, <laughs> this is not my bit. <laughs> you I predict can't do John's this. For, for one night only. Predict John's. Whatever John uh, chooses, I'll choose the opposite and try okay. and defend it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm interested for the ones that are very obviously titled, uh, you know. Yeah, it's going to be rough towards towards the, the, the nice guy one. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Okay, fine. Let's do this then. I'm going to say not the asshole. There's got to be a fucking reason why that sister is getting arrested. I don't give uh, a damn if it's a wedding day. If you did something illegal, you're going to get got. Wow. All a right. man of the uh, law. And I'll say you're the Boot asshole. Liquor, John. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him murder somebody or murder an animal. Ooh. Yeah, that's bad. Like, yeah, fucker. You deserve to go <laughs> yeah, to jail. Yeah, you do go to jail it. if you kill anything. Something or somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not uh, a bootlicker, you fucker. <laughs> John I'll famously hates police officers. Let it be known. I don't know. You're the one that said it. I do. I, I do. Yeah, I did say yeah. that. Yeah, what Fair is it? ACAB, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when you're rooted in racist ideologies, it's hard to defend. You know what I mean? But anyways, move on, move on, move I on. Agree. It's not about this. <laughs> I, 24-year-old female, and my husband, 24-year-old male, have three dogs. Oh, wow. This this will hit close to home, John. We got two corgis. I think I'm already right. <laughs> and a Pomeranian. Oh, my God. Do you think she kills these dogs? No way. She I think they did some them. harm with the dog. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Run them over or something. I rescued them from a puppy mill that was shut down about six months ago. They were all in horrible condition and had numerous medical issues. They are very friendly dogs and have adjusted to their new lives extremely well. My now sister-in-law, we'll call her Amy, has met them a few times before the events occurred. Oh, God, is John right? Amy said she wanted them to be the ring bearer and flower girls for her wedding. Now, Amy and I don't get along at all. She has said numerous hurtful and cruel things about me to my family and really anybody who will listen. Mm. I, oh shit. I am not even invited to the wedding as I would quote, <laughs> ruin the vibe, end quote. Insane, <laughs> <Damn>. wild. <laughs> I told oh, her she would not be using my dogs for her wedding for multiple reasons including me not being invited and they were all having surgery a few days prior. She kidnapped the dogs. I think she might kidnap these dogs. Oh my God. <laughs> they were all getting spayed as well as dental work. She was not happy about being told no. Now to the event that happened a couple weeks ago, 
all of my dogs had their surgeries on Thursday. This wedding was on a Sunday in the evening. My husband and I left the house to go run some errands Sunday morning, and the dogs were home asleep. I get a notification on my phone about motion at my back door. <gasps> Chicken oh the dog. my God. Chicken of the dog. <laughs> I check it, and it is Amy opening the door and walking into the house. I started pan. This is the morning of the goddamn wedding. Like, you don't yeah. have other shit to be doing, Amy. This is wild. <laughs> no. Or a I backup started, plan. <laughs> or a backup plan. Right. I started panicking and telling my husband we need to leave now and go back to the house. I show him the video and he agrees. I start calling my brother and demanding for him to get his wife out of my house. And if she leaves with my dogs, I will call the police. As she should. He hung up on me. Oh, Jesus. What a dick. I got home and all of my dogs were gone and their cones were left in their crates. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I called the police for theft and breaking and entering. The police arrived and I showed them the video of her getting into our house and leaving with the dogs. I told them where the venue was as I had seen a copy of the invitation. Wild, again, that you're not invited. (laughs) Not invited, right. (laughs) The police made it to the venue and were able to locate all of my dogs. One had opened her stitches and was bleeding from the wound. Oh, my God. Jesus. My husband rushed her to an emergency vet to get the stitches closed. Amy was arrested in the middle of getting ready for her wedding and has been charged with a class one felony and a few misdemeanors. (laughs) Good. Hell yeah. One for the good guys. (laughs) Now everybody is saying I ruined the wedding and I overreacted to the entire situation. I am being told that I need to pay them back for the whole wedding since it never (laughs) happened. (laughs) Bitch. (laughs) Hold on. Fuck. I am refusing to pay anybody back as well as drop the charges. Edit. Damn right. A lot of people are asking me how she managed to get in. The front and back door only have a deadbolt that locks with a code and no physical key. And that's it. Am I the asshole? Hell no. And if I were OP, I'd also charge them with like, hey, you got to pay for the fucking vet bills. Because you know how traumatic it is for a dog To like open up those stitches. It sucks for them to begin with going to the vet and getting their shit cut off or like spayed, neutered and all that crap. Yeah. And for it to open, probably various infections, the stress of like being kidnapped of their own place. And damn it, my dogs are my fucking babies. And if anything even comes close to my goddamn dogs, I will stab a bitch. So (laughs) (laughs) this person deserves to go to jail, like for real. So I have to take the opposite take. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 please. That's only for the predictions, Josh. Only the predictions. Uh, <laughs> it's not kidnapping. It's dog napping. So no, do not do this. Less Don't bad. do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, you're definitely the asshole. Uh, or not the asshole, sorry. Not your sister-in-law yeah. is the asshole. Technically not your sister-in-law yet because the wedding didn't happen. Got him. Technically mm-hmm. speaking. <laughs> um, yeah. Like insane of her to do that behind your back yes. after she didn't invite you and then talk shit about That's you. That's so, so crazy. Absolutely crazy. Sean, do you have any takes? I know uh, you read it, but. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I'm with you guys. Not the asshole. Crazy to even suggest this when, you know, you are not inviting them. And at first I was like, well, maybe, uh, you know, the sister, you know, what do you call it? The husband of OP is in siblings with the bride. So maybe right. that's why she feels like a certain closeness to the dogs. No, bride has no relation to OP mm-hmm. uh, besides, no. you know, dating OP's brother and then still had the audacity to not invite her, but ask for her dogs. And then when told no, kidnap, kidnap them the morning of with no fucking, no warning, just straight up <laughs> enter their back door. It's some sneaky yeah. shit. That's, Insanity, and for anybody that's like, "Whoa, you overreacted!" Like you stopped You're the whole ass. wedding. <laughs> they kidnapped her dogs. They broke and yep. entered into the house. Yeah. What? Well, and they have the vet, like the vet emergency bill as well now. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah, yeah as dogs soon as gotta she, go through that shit again. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as she said they left the cones there, I'm like, this woman 
is crazy. Like, you know, kidnapping them is bad, but at least kidnap them with the cones and then take them <laughs> right off before the procession. You know what I mean? It doesn't, like, it doesn't fit the aesthetic, Sean, of the wedding. No, but like <laughs> in the in the dressing room or whatever, they don't have to fit the aesthetic. They could just yeah, chill yeah. out in their cones. But regardless, don't steal this dogs. Is, this is another thing that's that's pissing me off too. Corgis are ha- hard to handle, like carrying, just because of the way their their bodies are. So chances are the the stitches probably open up when he they're probably lifting them to go inside the car because oh. they can't get up. Yeah. They can't get up that way because they're fucking loopy as shit and recovering. So they probably open up. They're probably like move some insides while they were just like transporting them to the car to begin mm. with. Cause there was zero care for that whatsoever. Absolutely. Mm. I'm heated. Cause <laughs> if I if, if someone kidnapped Kevin, I will go John Wick on all your asses. Like I'm not even playing. And Chloe. <laughs> and Chloe. See, John, I started with this one because I knew it would get you fired up for the rest of the episode. And then I wouldn't have to talk as much. Oh, as- you got I got you, bro. Like I got you. I'm fucking fired up. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next story here. Am I the asshole for not driving for my ex to see our daughter? Yes. Uh, anyways. Wait, this is, say that again. You said driving yes, for this is, your ex? Yeah. Uh, real quick before I read it again. This is cross-posted from Death Twinkle 6 hmm. It is, am I the asshole for not driving for my ex to see our daughter? Driving for my ex to see our daughter. Why couldn't the ex drive to the daughter? That yes. is the question. That is a question. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go not the asshole for this one. I feel oh. like it's like a deadbeat Whoa. husband. Way, way off, John. I'm going to say you're the asshole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not good at this, Josh. <laughs> uh, how dare you not drive? <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, I'm very confused got, as to what the reason could be to not drive to see your daughter. Yeah. And I feel yeah, like thought. more chances are that they're the asshole. I'll do not what driving. John does. Okay. What if? Uh, there you go. O- there you go. You're getting better. Getting hotter. Is, there you go. <laughs> uh, you know, like disabled or something and is not able okay. to uh, drive somewhere. Mm-hmm. Then what? Not the asshole? Asshole. That's we my, will that's, see. <laughs> that's my my prediction. There's a lot of background, so I'll try to be as short and concise as possible. My ex, 34-year-old male, and I, 34-year-old female, were together for 15 years and got divorced in 2020. He was a long-haul truck driver, so I got the house. So he can drive. <laughs> Or he can't drive. just long, but he can OP, drive for long I think, distances. I think OP is the one that's not driving. If I'm, you know, just based off that title, right? Well, yeah, but that implies like he's not willing he to can, drive. He's to able her. to drive. He's oh, able to drive oh, to the I daughter. got you. I got you. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, John. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. So I we got to be the- together this month. All right, we can't fight this month. Hands, we're holding hands. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'll stay out of it. Yeah, melanin only, Josh. Yes, melanin only. Shit. You're not AAPI, okay? That's fair. (laughs) You have all of the other months, Josh. (laughs) We only have May. (laughs) We only have May. It's the best month. (laughs) That's true. Uh, He was a long-haul truck driver, owner-operator, so I got the house, which my parents bought for us, and the car, and... I am the custodial parent for our daughter, who is now 11. He was on the so road. She does everything. Yeah, sounds like. Okay. He was on the road most of the time, and the four to five days a month that he was in, he'd stay at his mom's, and he'd have our daughter during that time. Soon after the divorce, he decided to give up truck driving and move to West Virginia. He moved from West Virginia to Florida in 2016. Okay. I gave him a break on child support until he got his feet up there. For the next year, he was extremely sporadic in child support. And we met halfway between West Virginia and Florida for him to have our daughter for Thanksgiving. Very kind. Uh, I told him I couldn't do it again, though, because I don't make nearly as much as him. And the work missed, plus the gas to drive, made paying bills very difficult. The next time he wanted our daughter for a month of summer... He expected me to drive her halfway. 
I told him no because I could not afford it. But also, Good. he hadn't paid child support for four months, hadn't oh, helped Jesus. with anything for her birthday or Easter. Yep. But also, he was the one that decided to move so far away. Mm-hmm. True. If he wanted to be in our daughter's life, he needed to do the work. He got upset with me, but ended up figuring out how to get his sister to bring our daughter up because she'd been visiting his mom in Florida, and then he brought her back down at the end of the month. It is now a year later. He isn't paying child support again and didn't help with Easter again. And he's messaging me asking if I could meet him halfway. Jesus. Boy, if you don't. I am financially struggling with hours cut at work, inflation, and several unexpected emergencies that have completely decimated my savings. He also makes double the money that I do. I told him it wasn't even just that I didn't want to drive. I literally could not afford to. He got upset again and started complaining to people about me setting him up to fail. Am You're I already a failure, you fucking <laughs> yeah. idiot? You failed many times here. This guy it's fucking not, sucks. not her. Am I in the wrong for thinking that he needs to do the work and figure this out? Am I the asshole for not driving halfway for him to see our daughter? No, absolutely not. First of all, this dude is a bare minimum dad to begin with. I mean, I understand that the, they got to do the work of like being away and all that because sometimes that's what you got to do to have a stable job. That part I understand. But the fact is, the mom takes care of the kid, what, majority of the time? You're fucking an absent father physically and you're also an absent father not being able to support them financially. Yeah. Knowing damn well you make significant amount of money for you to, for your kid to have a better life. And you rob them off that, and then you still expect a mom to fucking bend over backwards because your ass dre- uh, drove your way all the way to Florida, and to make the fucking mom's life more miserable by like just making them drive longer. The fucking audacity of this guy making like making them miss like child support or him missing child support payments and still forcing the mom to drive. This was a fucking idiot. You yeah. you know damn well you can drive. Long distances. You better make that fucking effort to drive your ass to see your daughter if you want to have that relationship. Yeah. And the money part is what pisses me off. It's like, if you were a good father and you paid your portion of the, you know, child support, Mm -hmm. then there's a good chance she'd be able to afford the time off to take her down there to meet you halfway. Uh, And you're not... so, So it's super unfair to be like, yeah, I'm not paying you. Also... You have to come take time out of your work, yeah. Uh, lose money uh, that I'm not giving you, and uh, just so that I can pretend to be a father for a little bit. Uh, it's bullshit. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, I, I'm I'm completely on y'all's side. Like, where does he, you know, get off on, you know, acting like he wants to be this, you know, great father, and this, his ex is setting him up to fail. He's the one that decided to leave. You know what I mean? Like he, and I get it. Maybe that's like the only place he could find a job. Maybe he got a really good job out there. He has to move, but uh, you know, then, you know, you're making double. There's no excuse to not pay child support. And if that's too expensive and you're paying double, then I don't know. You still need to find some sort of way. Like you, you've left your daughter and you only expect her to see her like one time of the one month out of, the year. The year, right. And then, you know, you're not paying for anything all of the other months. That's insane. Insane to have any requests at all when you're not paying child support. I mean, I've never been in that situation. I don't know how that works, but I feel like, you know, you can't ask for things if you're not doing the bare minimum, which is paying child support and be, you know, help your yeah. kid. Well, it's like a car payment, which is terrible to compare to. But if you don't pay your car, they repo that shit and yeah. you don't get access to it. It's the same with a kid. I mean, you, you got to, you know, be responsible and pay your part of like taking care of that child or mm-hmm. you lose access to them. Uh, I think that's a fair, you know, that's a fair yeah. compromise. <laughs> no, absolutely. And like the effort is not even, you can't even say the effort is anywhere remotely close to being equitable. No. Like there's no way in hell. No. Like your only responsibility at this point, because you're failing as a father doing the, the financial part of it. Is making a long drive. It's for drive. you to just drive a longer distance to like 
even if it's even if your wife can just meet or ex-wife can meet you like a quarter of the way through, you gotta make that effort to like meet them three fourths out of your way because you're already not putting out as much effort as the mom does. So yeah, I don't know what the fuck this fool's bitching about. He's not doing anything. He's barely doing the bare minimum. <laughs> it's about a twelve hour drive uh, in between Florida and West Virginia, and I I, I will say like you. Did this as a profession that should be sort of easy for you. easy peasy because i mean yeah. just driving yeah. to you know just to get out of texas from texas is probably like eight hours eight hours yeah yeah <laughs> same with ontario you know I mean? it's more depending probably. on where you're going but yeah yeah the provinces in canada are fucking humongous some of them same some of them are big <laughs> yeah um but yeah there's also flights like you can pay for a plane ticket uh exactly. yeah, if, if it's can. convenient you're making yeah. double what she makes brother yeah, and you're not. And you ain't even giving. No, you, you're not even paying, so you might as well pay her for a fucking flight. Yeah, holy least shit! Least you can fucking do, my guy. Mm. All right, well, you guys stew on that. Uh, we need to cut to an ad break where you could possibly get stew of your own from Hello Fresh. Ooh. Let's do it, boys! Wow. What's up, Wikimaniacs? You know how your boys love to talk about food, even if it involves Josh talking about taco sauce. Hey, come on, man. Not, not the time. All right, boys. Be nice. But let me talk to you about HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy-to-prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. Speaking of tacos and sauce, spend less time in the kitchen with the quick and easy meals like HelloFresh's fast and fresh pineapple chicken tacos or falafel power bowls, ready in 15 minutes or less. And while I'm a professional at eating meals, I am a rookie when it comes to cooking. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps, so even I can follow it. I have a few set favorites, but by far my favorite is the miso honey glazed salmon. Ooh, delicious. The box was shipped to my door, got it out of the box, read the instructions, got to cooking, and a few minutes later, I'm rubbing my belly and doing my happy dance from all the deliciousness. Ooh, so Wikimaniacs, make sure to go to hellofresh.com slash reddit on wiki 50 and use the code reddit on wiki 50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free once again go to hellofresh.com slash reddit on wiki 50 and use code reddit on wiki 50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free hello fresh america's number one meal kit and we're back uh <sighs> We ate the stew or whatever we advertised. I actually had what? chicken parm tonight. Wow. Ah, from HelloFresh. So. I just got nice. my HelloFresh package. Uh, I think we're eating the Mushu Pork Bowl in honor of AAPI Ooh. Month. Let's wow. go. Yeah, excited for that. But the patrons don't want to hear this shit, so we're moving on. <laughs> yeah. Am I the asshole? For reading about ads during uh, ad-free episodes for patrons, yes, but, uh, yes. gotta say yes. Yeah. Oh, then I gotta I say agree. no. Sean's perfect, well, and he can do no wrong. Sean is perfect. Wow. Oh my <laughs> god, I should post these more often. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was posted on r slash a i t a by unhappy midscore fault midscore thirty one twenty six. Oh, this is going to be an obvious one, boys. Am I the nice, asshole? Is this the nice guy? No, 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 not yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think the so other yet. obvious one. Oh. Am I the asshole for putting meat in a tofu dish? Uh, yeah, motherfucker. Oh, I'm going to say no. You it's know gotta be the story. A, you know the story. Religious, religious connotation, right? Like, okay, so I'm, I'm going to go with yes, they're the asshole. I'm going to go with no just to go against John. A and and uh, nice. Yeah, uh, sometimes tofu needs a little bit of meat, you know? No, it's I mean, sometimes <laughs> it is delicious, for sure. Sometimes but, it's good with meat, for sure. Yeah. But if it's, like, the only vegetarian option at, like, a event or whatever, and that's pretty fucked up to slide some meat in there. <laughs> yeah, or if you're a friend or whatever, disclose that they had, like, dietary restrictions, you were like, you know what? I know you have restrictions, but let me slide in some <laughs> meat over em. here. This will taste yeah. really that good That makes you pork. an asshole. <laughs> Like those uh, racist uh, grandparents went that wasn't that a story a while ago? Oh yeah, they 
slipped in. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, the slipped um, in pork, 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 pork into right, a right. Jewish family's meal. Yeah. yeah, fucked up. So fucked up. All right, let's get it in. What? Anyways, let's get let's it get in. Let's get into it. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. Let's go. Damn. Finally, John, after two John's working smut into the Am I the Asshole episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Something's going in the asshole, I guess. <laughs> Us. All right. This, <laughs> this happened at a potluck. I brought a dish that was tofu stir fried with minced pork, ginger, and spring onions. Similar okay. to mapu tofu, but not spicy. Is it mapu? Mapo. How does it spell? The wrong guy. M A P O. You're the you're you're a foodie, John. I don't know if either of us. I've never heard of map mapu or mapo before, so I, think I don't want to be wrong. Szechuan? Is it? Mapo. Let's go with mapu. Should have done the research beforehand. My bad. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just interested. Uh, yeah, it's like a Szechuan dish. I think it has those numbing chilies. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I still don't know how to pronounce it, but I know where it's from now. Sounds right. good. Everything was fine, except when somebody asked me if my dish was halal, I said, no, it has pork. That's when Jen overheard and freaked out that she ate meat. And it turns out a lot of other vegetarians ate my dish, assuming it was vegetarian. For the rest of the party... I've had so many people, including non-vegetarians, tell me that I'm an asshole for putting meat in a vegetarian dish. But this is a dish I grew up with. Tofu for me is just an ingredient, not strictly a meat substitute. Also, no one asked me if my dish was vegetarian. So, am I the asshole here or are people just overreacting? Edit. Uh Since so many people are asking... Nothing at the potluck was labeled. I just left the dish on the buffet table along with the rest of the dishes. There were so many other meat dishes. About 20 people were at the party and four of them were vegetarian. No one asked about my dish except for the person asking if it was halal. Yeah, I think I win this one, John. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to disagree with you, though. <laughs> really? Oh. oh, wait, you said they're not the asshole, right? Yeah, I said yeah. not the asshole. Oh, okay, yeah, you did win. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I went the, the opposite of you, which you... I was about to say, are you oh, yeah, about to get I forgot, racist I forgot. over here? <laughs> yeah, John. John. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with not the asshole. Yeah, not the asshole, because like, it, like, it's up to people who have dietary restrictions to, you know, ask if they're unsure yes. of something mm -hmm. and not to just assume. And then when they do assume, you know, you know what they can be upset, but not at you because you're not the reason that they ate it. Uh, if you're unsure about something, ask. And then yep. <laughs> if it ends up being not something you can eat, then you've avoided the situation. But yeah, bold just to, just to guess what's meat and what's not. <laughs> yeah, they probably just saw like tofu and all of a sudden they were like, ooh, this has got to be vegetarian. But right. it's not Opie's fault. Uh, no, it, it wasn't like clearly labeled as a, this is a strictly vegetarian party. Had it been, then of course they'd be assholes. Oh yeah, 100%. yeah. It wasn't like a lot of people had like meat products and meat meals or meals including meat in that party as well. And like what Josh said, people just assumed that it was um, if they just made an assumption and they didn't ask. If it wasn't for that person that asked if it was halal or not, then they probably would have known. But yeah. yeah, like what Josh said, it's completely up to those people who has restrictions to ask. Yeah, yeah. when you assume, you make an ass out of you. And me. Yes. Uh, is that and an that's original? Why, that's really good. Yeah. I came up with that off the dome. So good. Yeah. That's so <laughs> all this, good, man. All this cold medicine. Is just that sick brain. Dead. Just <laughs> activating like the rest of the brain cells. Yeah. Right? They're all firing now. <laughs> Neurons are firing <laughs> left and right. I'm Synapses. so smart. <laughs> Holy shit. Big brain. I'm gonna work for Tesla. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the overlord Elon. <laughs> I launched a rocket a couple weeks ago. <laughs> did you? Mm. Did it blow yeah, up the, like just like his? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. Actually, that was the <laughs> one. Is it shaped like a penis? A bigger penis? Yeah, I always shape them like penises. It, it's good. like yeah, fucking so Austin Powers. Powers. It's got to penetrate the atmosphere. Did y'all yeah, watch Austin Powers? Baby. A long time huh? ago, yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. Whenever the rocket flies up into space and they do like the montage of, that's a... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Shout out all the old people that watched Austin Powers and remember. <laughs> if you don't, then uh, watch it, please. Or don't. It might 
not hold up. You know what I mean? I, I haven't watched. There's it since. probably some questionable. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Jokes. It was a it was a bad time. I'm re oh, dude. Like I'm rewatching The Office for like the thirtieth time and then just like <laughs> oh that would not make you it today. Yeah. <laughs> All of you season one is out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, guys, this is I, an HR violation left and oh, right. Oh, all of it yeah. is HR violation. <laughs> all of it is. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of the bit. Yeah. Uh, as far as my thoughts on this story, I think you're not the asshole for sure. You made something that's, you know, that you had growing up. It's comfort food for you. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not your fault that, you know, they don't, I mean, maybe it's a Western thing or maybe it's a, you know, cultures that don't use tofu, like, or use tofu in different ways, I guess. The, the, the way they think, oh, if it's tofu, it's like only vegetarian yeah and yeah that was an interesting thing they said like i use this as an ingredient rather than a staple of a meal you know what i mean like yeah that was interesting to me because it's like yeah whenever i hear tofu i automatically think vegetarian but i and you guys you guys did too with the with the title of it you guys said you know asshole um based on the title because we're like oh tofu vegetarian but it's not always the case uh in in some cultures i guess yeah that's true. That's true. Now that I think, now that I've read the story, I think about like Vietnamese cuisine that has like pan fried tofu with like oh, so pork good, or yeah. like things like that, or like vermicelli bowls with like tofu, pan fried tofu in there. And yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, first first impression, you're like, oh, tofu. Uh, yeah, it's, it's seems like, like it's, a meat. It's substitute. associated with that type it, of cuisine. Yeah, you know? yeah I will been, say this though: if you're planning a potluck, and like <laughs> everybody's not putting what they're bringing, like ahead of time like no organization that's, what do you do when you end up with you. like 20 people who brought like rolls you know what i mean like that is true you, you gotta fucking plan the meals out guys what are what is your friend group doing ridiculous yeah. if you're gonna bring rolls that shit better be from texas roadhouse bro i need that fucking cinnamon butter <laughs> cinnamon butter oh, the God. only good yeah. thing at that restaurant uh, the only good thing you are absolutely right <laughs> everything else is ass <laughs> everything else is just chili's food food from chili's which is fine True. if you go in there anticipating that kind of food but just know you're not getting quality steakhouse Cuisine. stuff over yes. there guys you gotta know i'll avoid it thanks for letting yeah. me yeah we're gonna take you to all the finest restaurants in houston whenever you yes can. wow i got you we're starting off at john's favorite whataburger <laughs> <laughs> can't wait um is this mandatory that we gotta meet uh yes, uh, once a year I believe. What about it's the water burger meeting? This shit ain't fucking. It was okay. in the contract. Yeah. We're taking yeah. we're taking him to In and Out and Water Burger. How about that? And I have to blind taste test. Yeah, we'll do both. I will say the classic. If, if you're not getting like a fun time burger at Water Burger, then yeah, In and Out's gonna win. But if you get one of the all time classics, you, you're gonna tell me a patty melt isn't good. You're gonna tell me uh. But I'll eat it, Sean. Don't worry. I won't talk shit. I'll look. I'll look, I'll enjoy it with you, brother. How about that? <laughs> mm, you're right. We're united during this month. We can't let the white man. We get are united. <laughs> Even though Josh did nothing between us, baby Josh boy. Did nothing <laughs> bad in I have no stake in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the water burger, brother. Like, don't oh, worry. Man. I'm not gonna talk shit about it. <laughs> oh. All right, moving on. This was posted by C Midscore Glass Midscore two two seven. Oh, 2274. Oh, Am I ooh. the asshole? Oh, brother, this is bad. Am I the asshole for telling my best friend that his girlfriend is disgusting? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> man. I have the stance that I have to take, but no. Was this the nice guy one? <laughs> I think this yeah, is this the is, nice guy one. This is the nice guy one. All right, one. Josh, let's hear your why are yeah. they not the asshole? Why is this guy not the asshole? Maybe she ate food out of the garbage. I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe she's a raccoon. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's Ogtha. A trash panda. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Thanks, John, for giving me an argument. She is an imaginary cockroach. Cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that story was fucking ridiculous. Holy. I'm so fucking mad you missed it, Sean. Yeah, I was disappointed oh. too. <laughs> I was there for the live for some of that. Oh, so mad. <laughs> but that shit was wild. Yeah, it was that was wild. wild. Whenever he said, like, I don't imagine a roach woman, I just imagine a roach. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're not even, nothing that resembles a woman, just a roach? <laughs> wild. Anyways, let's oh, get no. into it. I, 22-year-old female, have been friends with Danny, 22-year-old male, since high school. And he recently moved in with his current girlfriend, Lucy, 22-year-old female. They had a housewarming party on Friday 
and Lucy spent most of the night dancing with her own friends who are very like her, parentheses, this person sounds jealous, anyway, but moving on, parentheses, mm-hmm. <laughs> excitable, extroverted, uh, et cetera. Uh, all the worst qualities. Oh, yeah. Extroverted. Oh, yeah. How <laughs> dare they do that at a party? Yeah. <laughs> why would they dance promiscuously? Yeah, why would they be excited and house. extroverted? <laughs> at their own place. With their friends. With their yeah. own Minding their friends. own business. God damn What it. is this, a strip club? God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. You you called, you called you titled this nice guy, but OP is uh, a woman. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nice guy. Girls can be nice guys, too. Oh, okay. They're not called nice girls? Okay. Should we uh, trademark that? Make that a shirt? Know. A sub <laughs> Call them nice girls. Sure, sure, we can do that. We'll make shirts. <laughs> uh... And she was dragging Danny away from his conversations with us, parentheses, his friends, close parentheses, to dance, even though he's more like us, parentheses, <laughs> lots of parentheses in here, uh, parentheses, <laughs> introverted and not party animals, close parentheses. Mm. <gasps> Later, Danny was being quiet. So I asked him if he was okay. And he said, I'm just tired. But he just kept watching Lucy dancing and then said something in her ear next time she came over. And she just shook her head and laughed at him. Again, I think this is her perspective, OP's perspective. I think yeah. she's probably His just laughing. Like, just You're sounds tired. Like he's drained. Yeah. Or, yeah. or he said something funny to her. Or you know? that. <laughs> and was just laughing in general, you know. Afterwards, she went back to her friends. I asked if it was bothering him how she was behaving. And he asked me to explain. Here we go. What do you mean by what do you mean by that? What do you mean, mean by that? <laughs> I mentioned the attention seeking dancing and the fact that she was wearing something really revealing, even oh though God. other guys were at this party. Oh, it and is a strip she's still club. minding her own fucking business. <laughs> is this what a pick me girl is? Yes. Oh, there you go. I'm Actually, learning. I should have titled it that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Been there is no yet. nice Although, girls. It's uh pick me girls. Pick me's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. True. Danny said it didn't bother him at all and then sat there with a moody face. At the end of the night, Lucy sat down with us and started chatting nonstop about how amazing the party had been. I pointed out jokingly, Danny obviously wasn't enjoying himself since he looked miserable. And Danny told her that I was worried he was jealous because of her outfit. I like how honest I don't know, is. fam. Yeah. He's like straight <laughs> up. Word. This girl sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah. Lucy ruffled his hair, parentheses, which I know he hates, close parentheses. How do you know that? It's not, it's not, it's not like you want to sit on his yeah. lap instead. <laughs> Just Ruffle say you hair. love Danny, OP. Yeah. <laughs> and said he was quiet because he loved her outfit so much. He couldn't wait for us to leave so he could drag her to bed. Oh, let's go. I thought... That was completely inappropriate and said to Danny, in that case, I'll just leave if she's going to be disgusting. And Lucy just (laughs) laughed at me. So I did leave. (laughs) Good. Good. (laughs) Today, Danny has messaged me saying Lucy wants an apology (laughs) before I'm allowed back at their home. But when I asked if Lucy would apologize for making me uncomfortable... He said, no, she doesn't have anything to be sorry about. Bitches are her fucking (laughs) housewarming party. What? I was genuinely only worried about my friend, but admit I could have just left without calling her disgusting. So am I the asshole? Edit. Yes. (laughs) Edit real quick. Or I think edit. It says ETA. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, To clarify, I didn't say the comment about her clothes directly to Lucy. I asked Danny once and then never mentioned it again. I asked him because I know in the past he said something overly sexual makes him uncomfortable. He's not the kind of guy who makes innuendos or anything. Also, Mm. I'm in no way jealous of Lucy. Oh, you sound (laughs) jealous, girl. You sound (laughs) jealous as hell. (laughs) She's the opposite of how I'd want to be, parentheses, which is fine. People can be who they want, close parentheses. And Danny 
and I already tried <laughs> dating years ago. Oh, but this, boy. But the spark wasn't there. And it sounds lie. like the flame is still burning inside you, <laughs> my dear. Yeah, for one of y'all, it's still there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It was uncomfortable after we tried being intimate and we both agreed we were better as completely platonic friends. Damn, you got friend zoned. Yeah, you did. It sounds like. <laughs> but yeah, you're 100% the asshole. Uh, stop shaming another girl for acting how she wants to, like being who she wants to be. Uh, yeah. And sounds like a healthy relationship. And that comment was like a pretty tame, you know, like, oh, you can't wait to get me to bed or whatever she said. Like, that's a pretty tame comment around friends. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. just, yeah. that's just like, uh, pretty common. Uh, yeah, you're uncomfortable. You didn't have to say anything. You could have just left. You're a terrible friend. <laughs> yeah, it sounds. It sounds like just the 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 girlfriend and the guy just has like different social styles. So of course, like it gives out different like cues. Like, yeah, he's gonna be quiet because he's probably is a little more introverted, and she's more of the outgoing person. But you know, like they make it work. They seem like they were they were having a ball at their own party. It seemed like people were enjoying themselves, except fucking op. Yeah, and. This is giving me the same vibes as that one girl who lusted for her neighbor. Like, oh, it's like, yeah, that <laughs> one. Sure. Yeah, true. Same freaking energy. <laughs> it's like, they could possibly be happy. He does not like all this shit. And she is just yeah. too wild. Yeah, bold of you to state what he does and doesn't like when your relationship yeah. didn't work out. So you clearly don't know what he yes. likes and doesn't like. <laughs> My thing is like, look, Y'all were friends in high school or whatever, but y'all are 22 now, presumably either out of college or soon to be out of college. Uh, but mm -hmm. either way, your first two years out of college, you might be completely different from who you were in high school. It's like True. It's a very uh, pivotal. Is that the word? It's, it's Yeah, sure. You find yourself <laughs> a lot of the times. A lot of times people find themselves in college. So like what you knew about them may not be the same as how they feel now. You know what I mean? So it's crazy yeah, to just be like, Oh, like I know this, I know that he just got back into town. You don't know him as well as you think you know him. Oh, well, exactly. And that's like, it, it's just bold of her to state. Like she knows exactly what he needs and wants. And it's like, he seems happy and like kudos yeah. for him to being like, yeah, you got to apologize. Like this is bullshit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I know the bar is low, but <laughs> it's nice to see a, a guy respond correctly in one of these stories. So, um, yeah, plus, if this, this guy series, definitely, definitely fucked though. He oh, definitely, that guy was he definitely did. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I'll say this. It's like if you're in a relationship, uh, a lot of the times you'll find yourself, you know, going outside of, if it's, you know, a relationship you're really taking seriously, you'll find yourself sometimes out of your comfort zone and find out that you do like things that you thought you previously didn't like. So it's it's just so many layers on top of why OP is fucking insane uh, and bold to just be yeah. so set in her beliefs about this guy uh, that she was friends with four years ago. Yeah, yeah. it is wild. Uh, I do want to know if Wikimaniacs would classify this as a nice guy or a pick me girl because I yeah, still we, don't quite know the difference. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really know anything to be honest. And while we think about it, before you write your comment, <laughs> let's hit another ad break, baby. Ooh. Wow. What wow. a professional. Is that your wearing the shirt? We're back. <laughs> what hey. is up, Wikimaniacs? It's your boy Sean. You better is fucking believe it. Is that the money we just made from our ad? <laughs> that is the money we just made from our ad. Oh, oh I got to show. I sh I talked about it in a Patreon thing, but not on the main feed. Uh, the boys got me a shirt. It's uh, look at that. You got to look yeah, on the YouTube to see what it is. But uh, what's the oh. conversion uh, in U.S. dollars? I don't know. I think that's a billy. <laughs> a hundred of these is a billy. So in one Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite Canadian dollars. They, it's actually a one-for-one one conversion for Usher Bucks. I don't know how much <laughs> Usher Bucks are worth, but... How many Shroot Bucks go into an uh, Usher Buck? Yeah. Oh, man. No, oh, that's too and much then 100 money of those dude. probably equal uh, one Salvino Buck. Is there, is, there, <laughs> is there a Sean pun you can make with currency or money? I, I said convert Sean. Oh, convert Sean. But, but, but I'll, I'll think of something. It'll, something will come up. 
We'll come up with a clever name for my uh, currency that will be yeah. uh, officially printing and minting and whatever it is. <laughs> All right, let's get to our last two stories of the episode, unless you're rich. Am <gasps> I the mm. asshole for allowing my daughter to exclude family? I'm going to go with no. Because some fam, I'm I'm big on this. Some families are just because they're family don't mean they're good for you. So uh, the parent probably sounds like they're just trying to protect them from toxic family members, and they deserve to be cut off. So not the asshole. Well, you know me. <laughs> 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 Gotta go. You're the asshole. Excluding people is mean. Uh, you should never do that. So rude. So. <laughs> Hella rude. All right, I didn't say this, but this was cross-posted <laughs> onto our own subreddit by Lavender Bunny 9 Ooh. Yay. My daughter's fifth birthday is coming up, and we are having a party with family. My husband and I both agreed to let my daughter choose who she wants to invite. Bold choice. <laughs> Bold. I'm into it, though. She chose to invite everyone in my family and my husband's family, except for my husband's mom and stepfather. <sighs> that kid's an Ooh. asshole. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> with it. They're probably shitheads. The, yeah, what did they do? Fuck that kid. <laughs> yeah, if everyone is getting invited <laughs> except two people, no way. Absolutely, they're doing something wrong. So yep. fucking funny. All right. A bit of a backstory is that my mother-in-law and father-in-law live out of state and have taken absolutely no interest in my daughter's life. They haven't even seen her in the past three years. During the past three years, my husband and I have tried to get them to FaceTime my daughter, but to no avail. My mother-in-law recently, as in the last few weeks, started calling her once a week or so, but it took so many attempts to even get to that point. My mother-in-law and father-in-law are both retired, so... The lack of effort is certainly not due to a lack of time. They are also financially well off and have taken many trips in the last few years, just Mm. not to see us. Well, my mother-in-law and father-in-law invited themselves out here during the days of my daughter's birthday and birthday party. So when they found out my daughter doesn't want them there, they were very offended. My mother-in-law is complaining to the rest of my husband's family about how hurt she is. I'm of the mindset that she has made no effort with my daughter, so why should my daughter have to include her in her birthday? Yup. But my husband is starting to feel guilty, and the rest of the family is as well, saying how hurt his mom is. So, am I the asshole? Nope. Absolutely not. And shout out to the parents for teaching their five-year-old kid boundaries in such an early age sometimes you got to put out what you put in or you got to put it whatever that term is um <laughs> they they didn't have any or the grandparents didn't have any effort of course and why would the the little daughter reciprocate that energy back in return you know and i think the parents just setting up the the daughter in a long run that hey people shouldn't take advantage of your efforts or your energy so cut people off that doesn't deserve your energy or your time so not the asshole uh, I will say this though, like the kid is five. It's not like they have had time to create memories with the grandparents. And if they're now willing to try and, you know, come down and, and, you know, just go to the party, I think it's okay to allow them to come to the party. Like if they're trying to reach out and trying to, you know, build bridges again, it's not like they've done anything horrible. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's, I think it's a case where it's like, you're kind of the asshole if you just don't let them come to your party. But like, I just don't think anyone really sucks in this situation. If you let them come, like it's, it's not a, it's not the biggest deal. If they, if they've made the time to come out and make that effort to come out, why, why shut that down? I'm going to have to disagree with you, my guy. Cause they said they just invited themselves over. Like, it's not even just, they were asked to come there and like, Oh yeah, my daughter doesn't want you here. Well, I mean, it's kind of just like why it. It, it's it's like convenient for them when they want to establish those, but all the other pleas and other years that they were trying to establish relationships. I don't know, man. I'm, I, I, uh, here's where I, I I'm, I'm going to kind of like in the middle of you two, to be honest, because it's like, look, they were pretty shitty. 
uh, for the past three years. But like as of the last month or so, you know, they've tried. Uh, I do think, you know, you should be open Mm -hmm. to letting them come to the party. But if like once they find out like they're not invited, then like complaining and whining about it, I think they're kind of being dickheads about which that's where I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you know, you maybe they came to surprise her because like they were like, we're we're getting on the same page here. Like we're finally trying to get in their life. We'll surprise them. You know, I know her birthday is this weekend. And, you know, it, it, I don't think they were like, oh, we're not invited. Let's fucking crash this shit. I think they <laughs> bought tickets to like surprise. And then they were like, oh, actually, she does not want your ass here. Don't know what yeah. to tell you. Again, she's five. I don't know if she has the concept of knowing who these people are. Like you'd be surprised. I hated people like so early in my age because I can't remember when I I was five. (laughs) I can't remember shit when I was five. I've always protected my like sanity and energy of like if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. Right. But I think if they're trying to they're not making a a malice effort, you know what I mean? They're trying to to try and like reconnect. And maybe this is the start of a relationship that could be healthy going forward. I will agree with Sean that they are the asshole for complaining behind your back afterwards. Um but I and, think, and, and I oh, think if if they don't allow them to the party, I think everyone sucks in this situation. Yeah, I'm still not with it because yeah, that's fair. I enough. think the first that yeah, I think definitely think the first step is make amends first before like making that grand entrance, and then they can they can do something about it later. Yeah, but on. they thought they were making amends. They're like reaching yeah. out and talking and they, to them, and once they, were a week. they were assuming they were assuming that it was okay. That that's okay, what makes them assholes. Would they be more of an asshole? Like in your mind, if they just didn't show up to the, her birthday party, like that's shitty. <laughs> they've been absent for so long, so why would it change? Right, but they've been trying for a month now, and, yeah. and like they're starting it up. A and month doesn't repair like years of sh- neglect. Sure. Of course. Yeah, but like. Why shut down someone trying? You know what I mean? It's because they're trying when it's convenient for them. It's not. Uh, but but I, I don't, I'm I don't just know what you mean going. convenient for them. Well, now it's because now they're, they're, they're trying on their terms, not because like when the parents were making those plea. Uh, like they've been retired for so long. They've been well off for so long. All of a sudden when it's cool for them to do it, that's when they go do it. Right. But nothing's really changed. It's just, it's not like it's more convenient now. It's just they're, yeah, it's, they're trying it's just, now. <laughs> I don't know. It's to me, I'm like, there's got, there's more steps be- like before trying that way before they can even, you know, try to come over and like fucking think everything's cool and dandy. Okay. Fair enough. I guess I'm just more forgivable. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a very forgiving person. <laughs> I'm right in the middle. Like, yeah. I, I think, you know, if they showed up and surprised, you know, you bring it up to the daughter, like, oh, hey, like they weren't invited. Uh, but, you know, y'all, I know y'all have been talking for like the last, month i know once a week for a month is like four times total which isn't a ton but it's like you know y'all have sort of been talking would would you like them here uh and then if she says no then you know that was the whole seems like the theme of this party is to you know let her choose so if she says Mm -hmm. no then you you tell them no but like uh yeah i i I don't know i don't think i think they were assholes i think they're trying to make a a concerted effort to not be assholes yes Uh, but also if they had just retired in the past three years I totally get them doing whatever the fuck they want to do uh, yeah, for the after three COVID. years. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, after COVID, of course, but like after when you retire, I think you are allowed to be selfish. That's like True. being in your twenties again. Uh, you know, that's like kind of the same mindset. I'm thinking, you know, when I retire, I want to do whatever the fuck I could not have done in the last however many. You We're know, not going to hear for Sean for years. <laughs> oh no, when I well, yeah. I've, if I'm still alive and able to retire, I'm fucking ghosting everybody. I'm doing my own thing. And then and then Sean's gonna message me, hey, I'm coming to John's birthday party. And I'm like, Yeah, and then John, three years do you later want him to come to your birthday. I'm like, bitch, you haven't talked to me in how long? After I'm partied out for three years, then I'll come back to society and try to make my amends. But yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know. That that's just my assumption, you know what I mean? Ooh. Look at you using that now. Yeah. There you go. Taking the power back. I don't know if you guys take the power back. I like that. <laughs> I make it so obnoxious that nobody likes it. API month, baby. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> All right. Let's finish it off, boys. This is kind of a long one. That's why I don't host these, maybe. All right. Am I the asshole for not going to a funeral with my boyfriend because of my sister's wedding? This was cross-posted by Fluff and Stuff 42. 
climbing the ranks of Mount Rushmore of that fluff and stuff for you. Yes. We're using them quite a bit. Yeah. They didn't go to a funeral because of their sister's wedding. Like it happened the same day. Looks like it sounds like it happened the same day. Oof. I think you got to go to your sibling's wedding. Yeah. And I think uh, your I'm, I'm go other with, has I'm, to be. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay I think I'm going to go with nobody sucks in this situation because it's like a hard a hard oh, decision so to make. I have to go. Everyone sucks. That's there you go, John. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put That's you the on worst that option. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn it. Let's get into it. Fake names used. Me, 26 year old female, and my sister Ellie, 28 year old female, are very close. Ellie is getting married in about three weeks, and I'm the maid of honor, and it's very exciting, but also stressful especially so close to the wedding, making sure it all goes as smoothly as possible. My boyfriend, Jack, 25-year-old male, and his family are Canadian. They've recently... <gasps> Ooh, assholes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They've recently had a family tragedy, so Jack is flying out next week to attend the funeral. Of course, I have no issue with him going, but he asked me to come as well. I said sorry, but that's not really possible since Ellie's wedding is coming up not long after. Oh, so not on the same day. Not the same day. Oh. Mm. And it's just a lot on my plate right now. Parentheses. And it's not a simple drive. It's in a whole other country. Close parentheses. I've been helping with a lot of the planning and generally just being there for her. And Ellie doesn't want me to go now either. Jack has been pretty upset and not talking to me very much. People that know of this are torn. Some are saying I'm right, but a couple of people are telling me that I'm being selfish. Am I the asshole? Uh, extra Oof. information. Yeah, here's the information you'll need before you make your decision, John. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> Commenter, who died? And how close was he to this person? And how long have you and your partner been together? If it were someone very important to my partner, I personally would do anything to make that work. For some people, this may be a deal breaker and it may take some serious work to repair this relationship. OP, we've been together for five years. It was his brother and fiance that passed away in an accident. Ooh. Yeah, you're the asshole. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to go with yes. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not even the day of the wedding. Which yeah. Even then, I think you should probably still go. Like that is a, like a brother, like immediate family. That's pretty close. And it was, I think, you know, you know, sorry to interrupt, but I think no, if it was the same day, I would I'd still go to the wedding. I yeah, feel that's bad. Fair. But it's like your brother would want me to, you know, still celebrate. Yeah, my sister. You that's know what fair I mean? enough. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, not the same day. Just being close to the day. That's what makes her selfish. That's rough. that's crazy. Like I understand. I understand. Like there's a lot of work involved in like being a maid of. You said maid of honor, right, Sean? I think you cut yeah, off. Yeah, maid of honor. Yeah. Me. There's a lot of pressure being a maid of honor, but you know, it's it's a family affair. Like you can kind of ask for another family member to kind of step up due to the circumstances, and the fact that you just kind of like brushed it off and said like it's too close to the wedding. I'm stressed. Granted, you probably are. Like oh, I yeah, understand absolutely. that. Yeah. But at the time, your boyfriend just lost like a brother and a possibly a future like sister in law. Mm -hmm. And for you to not take that to account, maybe you don't stay the whole time. Maybe you just show up for like a couple of days, then come back. But you still got to support your boyfriend because they asked you because this is their time of need. And you got to yeah. step up as, as a significant other and make sure you'll be a pillar for them during those times. Yeah. Well, and like, in a relationship for five years, like that's basically your brother and sister now too. Exactly. You know what I mean? If mm -hmm. they had a like, relationship, sometimes you don't. <laughs> I mean, that's fair that's enough. True. But even then you should probably consider them. Yes. You know, family. I mean, the brothers sound really devastated. So, you know, like that's, yes. you got to put telling. that into consideration. Yeah. 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 So yeah, 100% the asshole. Uh, and like John said, you're stressed. There's a wedding, but just imagine what your partner is going through. Like have some empathy uh, that yep. he's, you know, getting some of the worst news he's going to experience in his life and, and going to his brother's funeral. Like, how, like just, you know, you can take a day or two, fly out, come back, and then, mm -hmm. and you know, or even drive with them and then fly back to get to the wedding. 
your family should be understanding enough to take over any responsibilities you have with the wedding uh, up until the end, like until you can get back. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Shit. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Like that's like the only way you don't, the only way that you like skip a wedding, like even if it was like an uncle or a cousin, uh, I think you go unless it's the day of the wedding or the, yeah. maybe the day before the wedding. But even then you could like fly in and fly out. You know what I mean? Like yeah. try to make some kind of, we have airports up here. Yeah. Just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I, maybe you don't have a passport. Maybe that's the thing. And you know, it's kind of hard to get a passport. I mean, but even would, then I'm, you, I'd imagine you wouldn't be able to drive that. in. Yeah. yeah. yeah you, you wouldn't you be able to drive. Passport yeah. Regardless. Yeah. So then what yeah. The fuck? yeah. There's no <laughs> reason to skip this unless no. it's the day of the wedding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like even skipping the rehearsal dinner is fine. Like it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do I mean, that. Not, not ideal, but like for something like this is definitely. Yeah. Doable. It's understandable. Like the situation yeah. is not like just because it's, it's a tragedy. There was like a, yeah. definitely a compromise that could have been had in this situation, but I think she was kind of close minded about it. That's what sucks about she, it. Yeah. Really didn't even seem like she considered it. She was just like, no, yeah, no. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, right she was away. like, I'm sorry. Too close. What? Yeah. 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 No. That's a deal breaker. That that's a that's that's a breakup for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'm breaking up next day. Just stay in Canada. Find a nice girl yeah. out there. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking villain today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the cold medicine. <laughs> That is it for this episode. What did you think? Were these people assholes or angels? Let us know down in the comments on YouTube, Discord, or our subreddit. If you want to hear more, please consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network and unlock bonus episodes as well as extra stories every Friday. And Don't forget, you can submit your own Am I the Asshole stories to us on our subreddit, (laughs) just like our first story. Wait, what? Wait, one of them is a listener story? Uh, That was a listener story? Yeah, I think one of them was. I forget. Which one? Not the first first one. one. The first one was from the go. Uh, It wasn't the first one. I forget. Oh, maybe. I think it might be the... uh, uh, The driving one? The driving one. one. Yeah, that was it. Sorry. That Whoa. was a listener story. Yeah, Whoa. I said posted on Reddit on Wiki. Sean just you did, and I said it, it too. Or but I probably yeah, said cross posted. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> who knows? But yeah. yes, that was a personal story. Oh shit! Wow. And we agreed with you without even knowing you were. We not know. It's there. You go. We didn't have a bias. Wow. Yeah, damn. I gotta do that more often. <laughs> Whoa! Sneak don't attack. do that. Uh, yeah, my bad. I said first story, but it was the second one. That's my fault. No, no worries. Yes, if you want to submit your own. Am I the asshole stories to our subreddit? Just like our second story. Uh, <laughs> you can on our very own subreddit, r slash reddit on wiki, or you can cross post your favorite Am I the asshole stories there as well. Well, thank you, uh, Wikimaniacs. This is and so thank weird. you, John and Sean. Oh, John you're, you're and welcome. Josh. <laughs> no, it's Sean today, baby. <laughs> For coming on and giving their takes. And thank you. Oh, uh, I don't. Thank like you, Wikimaniacs. I'm <laughs> fucking butchering this last sentence. I had a good yeah, run. You were doing so well. I was doing was a like, good run. You were just was reading like your it. Best, <laughs> I was, was your best it. episode yet. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, Sean not fucking, fumbling the outro is like it's weird. I don't like it. I yeah, need normalcy well, back. I fumbled it. I fumbled it. I definitely fumbled <laughs> it. Right at the end there. Right at the All end. All right. Well, yeah. thanks for this amazing episode, y'all. We'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs> Thanks, Sneak Sean, peek. for taking my place. It's me Good again. Good job, Sean. Yay, Sean. Good job. <laughs> Yay, me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>